Uh, hey YouTube, Wendell Lee Well Services back at you on this chilly, brisk uh, Friday morning. Just coming out here finishing up a job. Uh, what we got showing for you today is um, got an irrigation well here and uh, got decided to install a hand pump with it as well. Um, so what we got here and what I'm going to go over is basically installing a, a hand pump with an irrigation pump and being able to uh, cover it up and have it under a small cover. Um, so you can see what we got here. Um, made a, made the guy a service over here. Um, power's coming in from way up the road over there. Uh, got a sub drive 50 variable speed drive made by Franklin Electric. Um, it's running back over here. And you can see what we got here. We got a simple pump installed. Um, got our pipe coming from our pump. Uh, coming out right here. Going over to our tank with our transducer. And then the valve where he's going to run his water line. I'm um, going to fill a pond up as well as uh, run a water line to his uh, sheds up over here. Um, but we did have to do some modifications to get this work to work. Um, you know, obviously most of the simple pumps here, um, you know, you have this little set screw on there where you can set the height of this uh, cylinder here. Okay. And um, what we learned is, and I'll demonstrate this to you here in a little bit when I throw the cover on, but this, this casing height here is about 18 inches above the ground. And in order for this 38 inch cover to work, we had to lower this hand pump cylinder basically all the way down as, as low as it could go to get the cover to go over it. Um, so probably, you know, if you're wanting to do this setup here, uh, with the with the pump and a hand pump and you know be able to have everything freeze protected except for when you want to use the hand pump um, you know the casing has to be about a foot um, a foot above the ground that way you can raise this up and kind of get it where you want it um, you can see it's you know it still it still works here it still works fine um, you got the little weep hole weep hole down there that you have to worry about but it still gets the job done. It's just a little bit, little, little bit lower than you like for it to be. Um, but still, still, still a nice, uh, concise job. Everything's compact real fast. Um, other thing we had to do, and I know we uh, purchased this hand pump from uh, Scott Hunt, uh, Engineer 775, Practical Preppers. Um, did, a, did a great job with everything. Um, and what, what we had to do is this is an inch and a half pipe here, and the hole that comes with a simple pump cap is an inch and a quarter. Uh, so we had to bore this out, and we were a little concerned. Let me get this in here. We were a little concerned about the clearance here. Um, we would, weren't sure if a two inch would go in, and it doesn't look like it would. Um, this is inch and a half. An inch and a half will work. Um, so you can see there's probably, I don't know, a quarter of an inch of clearance maybe here. Um, so if you were, you know, to bump that up to two inch, it probably wouldn't clear the simple pump cylinder here. But uh, regardless, it's still able to uh, work. The guy's going to be able to pump um, about 50 to 60 gallons a minute here. And he can also come out here and use his, use his hand pump whenever he wants to use it. And then when he's done using it, let's see if I can do this by myself here. Just goes over it just like that. Covered up. Another job well done. So uh, just wanted to uh, do a quick video for y'all out there showing it is possible to, you know, irrigate and have a hand pump in it and, you know, keep everything covered uh, nice and concise out there. Um, so, you know, still got a small footprint under everything. Um, you know, the last thing you would think when you uh, pop one of those covers open is you've got a hand pump under that cover as well as a setup to pump 50 or 60 gallons a minute. So just thought I'd do that for y'all. Uh, stay warm out there. Thanks for watching. Uh, be sure to check us out at WendellLeeWellServices.com and uh, stay tuned for more videos.